Hi, Freddy here, back with day four of Retro RPG Catch-Up Week. Um, I'm going back through various games I've already reviewed where I've found extra source books and adventures and things that I'd like to show you. And today we're back to Trinity with the Trinity Technology Manual, which I bought in a Virgin Game Store in 1998 for £10.49. Um, what this is is an equipment book, basically. Um, for Trinity, which is a bit of a sci-fi game, it's presented very much like uh, the main rules itself, using unfortunately bad uh, computer-generated imagery. If I flick through here, we should have a CGI face, which just looks terrible. Where is it? UK Arms. That's a pretty bad one. There. Look at the glory of that muddy square horribly rendered face now for 1998 that is above what computer games probably were at uh we're talking half-life one era here but that should never have been put in a source book um get a cartoonist get somebody to draw a face they will do far better than that monstrosity um, this was the very early days of computer-generated um, editing and that. In the majority, it looks quite good. Um, I believe there's a picture of one of the Vargs, the big sort of power armor things. You notice that they totally abandoned the ring-bound version that they had for the main book and went back to traditional. But these look pretty poor. Um, I guess they thought they were getting like uh, photographic realism, but these blueprints hold up in time. They look decent. Uh, in 20 years, 50 years, they'll still look good, whereas this looks terrible. Never mind the faces. We've got lots of pages of text. And basically it introduces some new technology. Here we've got a biocomputer. So it's like an organic brain that you plug into and it does computer stuff. Not quite sure how that would work. Here we have some more faces. Uh, these will haunt your nightmares. These are terrible, terrible things. That is a decent picture. That's quality. Put that in a book now and it still looks fine. These... These are just terrible, ugly, disgusting things. Uh, flying packs. Just various equipment from Power Armor on. There's a lot in here. Um, it was the only source book I ever bought for Trinity. Because I just felt it was a bit of a mess. Even back in the day, I thought those faces looked terrible. They never impressed. And that is the Trinity Technology Sourcebook. There's not a lot to it. Uh, Trinity already had a lot of stuff in, and this just fleshes it a bit out. Gives you a lot more of the background, which they never had space for in the main rule book. And I understand they did a lot more like that. There were books for the various alien species, the various casts of scions, which all fleshed it out and made it feel a lot better. Um... But none of those interested me. I was never going to play Trinity. It was just always a curiosity. And this, because I'm a bit of a tech geek and I love buying equipment source books for different games, some of which I don't even own the game for. I buy the technology books. I picked this one up. It had some interesting ideas that I believe I ripped off for a role-playing campaign I was running at the time. Like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. And I'll catch you later. That was Trinity Technology Sourcebook.